Hello friends, welcome to our winter science unit. We are doing all sorts of fun, wintry projects for you to enjoy during these cold winter months and learn a little bit of science along the way. Today we are going to put our engineering hats on and make an igloo and I'm super excited. I have Georgia with me to join us. She is very excited about making an igloo with us. All you need for this project is ice. We have a bag of ice. It's probably gonna work easier if you actually have ice cubes, like the big nice ice cubes, but we have an extra challenge for ourselves and that's totally fine. You're gonna need some water. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's like warm or cold water because we'll, I'll show you how we're gonna make it just the right temperature that we want. And we have a baking pan to contain the mess and then also a plate if we decide Ooh, my igloo's melting a little bit. Maybe I need to go pop it in the freezer to make it nice and cold again. Because normally when you're building a real igloo, you're not in a house that is being heated and warm. So um, we just put it on, we're gonna put it on a little plate to help us with that. And Georgia has her little Lego friend who is a chef. And our goal is going to try to be able to build an igloo that she can fit inside. So that is our challenge. With the ice ships, who knows if it'll happen, but we can give it our best shot. That's always what happens with engineering challenges. You can only try and revise and go from there instead of forcing things. Doesn't always work very well. All right, so the way that this is gonna work is you're gonna have your ice, and the ice is actually colder than ice needs to be because our freezers don't freeze at just the point where water freezes it's actually colder than what water freezes. So water freezes around 32 degrees Fahrenheit and our freezers are usually set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. So we'd have water and as we cool down, we turn to ice and we would keep cooling the ice and that's where our freezer is. So this ice is actually colder than it needs to be, which means it can actually cool down tiny bits of water to act as what we are going to do for um, keeping our ice cubes together. We can stick the ice cubes together because if we add just a little bit of water, the ice cubes will freeze that little bit of water. Now I'm gonna bonk this real fast. And for my water, I don't want it to be hot water because that'll really melt these ice cubes. So all you gotta do, drop some ice cubes in here, just like this, and that will cool it down so that any amount of water that I put from here is gonna be really, really cold and I can tap it on the ice cubes and use it as sort of a glue. And then from there, we just need to plan what we're doing. So, I'm gonna pack this again. Let's see. We got one big chunk here. Now our ice chips are very round and curvy. They're not blocky and square, so that's gonna be an added challenge for us. But we are just going to, we can put some ice cubes on our pans. And to start building, all we gotta do, yeah, you can just smush it. And then if you want it to stick together really well, what you can do is dip your finger in the water, add a little bit of water here, and then you can let it sit on top of that ice cube and it will freeze that tiny bit of water because the ice is so cold, it's gonna freeze that tiny bit of water and it's gonna stick those two cubes together. And you're just gonna go around and build. You'll need to decide how you want your um, shape to be. So will you be shaping it like a square or a circle? For us it seems sort of like maybe we wanna shape it like a circle here. I'm gonna actually put a whole layer around here. Georgia needs a little bit of help. It can be really tricky, especially because we have these rounded ice cubes. Georgia, why don't you join me on mine? But we work together. I think we should make a layer that sort of goes all the way around. Just like this. Because then we could add a layer on top. We can sort of move from there. But we want, we want it to have some, we don't want to go all the way. That's true, we don't want to go quite all the way. So I will leave it, so, like, here. Like right there. Yeah. Okay, that's a good plan, I because like that so plan. Because so a little Lego friend can walk in. Yes, and I agree. And you can see inside it. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna, some of these that are already a little stuck together, we can leave them a little stuck together. I'm gonna put some of these upside down so they sort of fill in some of these curvy gaps that we have. 
Again, if you've got square pieces, it's even better. That's gonna be a lot easier for you. And if you need to at any point, we can go pop this in the freezer and refreeze, which will help them freeze back together. That is totally fine to do. Maybe you decide you want to do that like every layer or so. You could also, if you have a blender, make like a slushy. We could put the slushy, slushy sort of between them, which will work. That would you can awesome. see we're adding some layers here. You can add just a little bit of water, just a teeniest amount as we place it on. And you could also even just rub your finger to get the teeniest amount. Oh yeah. And it will take time for it all to freeze together with that extra water. How long will it take? Uh, it sort of depends. Maybe we should go put this in the freezer. What do you think? When we're done. Or you want to do it when we're all the way done? I don't know if we'll be able to get it all the way. I think we might need a freeze. We might need a freezer freeze. Right now? I want these guys to fuse together. Whoop. This ice cube is slippery. Mm. There we go. Mm. Let's put this one upside down. And we've got the extra shape talent, so we really want to think about which direction we're putting everything in. And as Georgia is showing, you can always have a little snack too. Let's see, I'm gonna find some of these ice chips at the bottom. Just sort of stack them in different places. And that will give it extra structure and strength too, especially as we freeze it. Little ones are gonna be just great. Are you using this one? I don't know. Just gonna have a snack. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Can I have some of these? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think? Should we go put it in the freezer for a few minutes? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go pop this in the freezer. That's part of the beauty of having it on a plate that can fit in our freezer. We'll pause it and we'll come back to you when we get it out of the freezer. So we have frozen ours a little bit, and it's definitely a little bit more stuck together, especially the places that we added some water. So I'm actually thinking, just so we get a little bit better next time, we'll add little drips of water, because we're gonna have to freeze this again to get it all stuck together. And we don't wanna add too much, but just add little bits here and there to help it really stick together. And then we can add another layer of our guys. And again, we could either add a little water or we could melt it so it's a little wet with our fingers. And we can put that in there. And I'm noticing I have this big gap right here. And that's not gonna be good for when I want to have it hold stuff. So what I can do is I can take these tinier chips and try to fill in some of this hole with these smaller chips. That will work just like that. Then we can start building our next level. There we go. Just like that, that looks really nice now. And you can find any spot that you have little pieces that are missing. And again, this is definitely not like a super fast, this is a project for the afternoon. Just wanna make sure that you don't go into it wondering why it's not finishing as quickly. This is sort of one of those longer projects that you can build. We need some little pieces, I think. Maybe here. Mom, don't go into here because we need some Right. Things. Yeah, we're going to save a little spot there. Let's see if we can just leave that guy just maybe like that. We just need it this tall. Let's pull this hole. I know. It's not going to be too cold, but it is going to be hard to hold it. Yes, that is going to be a really hard part. And if you're not up for that task, you could always find something else to add for the top. You have to bring it in really slowly for the curving roof, which can be tricky. All right, let's see if we can add some more stuff. My ice is getting slippery already. 
That's the tricky part is once you freeze it as it comes, it's gonna melt and it's gonna melt all those little pieces that um, that we had that were frozen together. All right. Now this one, there's a big gap there and I don't really like the big gaps. So we're gonna try to really make these gaps smaller. All right, and we're just gonna keep building like this. And as we go, we'll freeze it, we'll build, we'll freeze it, we'll build, we'll freeze it, we'll build. And then we can show you guys what we end up making. How did you do that? All right, so we're back and we have been layering this. We found a trick for ours is that if we blended our ice, we can make some slushy ice and we could sort of pack things in and then we would let it freeze and we come back and even this top layer is not quite frozen yet. But I think it'll probably be enough for us to try and get a top layer on. And so what I've been trying to do is I sort of put my finger in here to add a stable spot and hold it there for it to sort of freeze together. Where would you like to gently add the last little bits for us? Put my hand in here. You can try to scoop some of the slush out. Now we had a tricky time because our ice cubes were not square. So the water trick that I thought would work really nicely didn't work as well because we had all sorts of different shapes and angles. Um, but that's part of engineering, finding out, ooh, this didn't work as well as I was hoping it would work, and then trying to find a solution. Here's some slush, Georgia. And our solution that we found was this slush, this slush that we could add as sort of a, um, the motor between the items that would allow us to really secure it together and then freezing it. And now we have this little igloo. Where's our little person? There's some ice that fell in the igloo, but that could be her bed. And there she is. It is plenty big for our little person. Look how big that is. It's like a couple stories. She could have like a downstairs and an upstairs almost which is pretty amazing. So here is our fun little igloo challenge. It's an engineering challenge. Who knows what you are going to find as your problem and as your sticking point, but all of engineering is trying to find a way around that sticking point, all right? So trying to think outside the box or say, hmm, what have other people tried? Could I freeze it? Could I make some slush? What things will work to help this project me, help me complete it? And I will say, it's not necessarily a fast project. It's probably taken us about an hour to make this between all of sort of the freezing and the layerings. But it's kind of fun. And we'll put this in the freezer for a little while longer and then we can actually play with it and do whatever we want with it, which will be a good time. I hope that you guys enjoyed our winter science project. We have lots of other winter science projects that we are doing in our unit. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss it when a new video comes out. And you can also support us over at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great one. Thank you.